Welcome back to Capello, where St. Martin have got in and substitute Billy Stark replaces Steve Clark for the second half, and that certainly is a positive move on the part of Ricky McFarlane to give some attacking thrust to the side. They have replaced the fullback with a midfield player and a scoring midfield player at that. Stark has scored five times for St. Martin this season, and it's St. Martin to get the second half underway. Fortunately, in my view, it's only to be one goal behind after that splendid first half performance from Morton who started the second half not surprisingly with exactly the same 11 players who finished the first pain underneath that well very tight in that midfield area it's Patrick looking for Scanlon well that dummy from Sumner has won some space to work in and Copeland springing to the back with Wilson on his outside now oh, Billy Stark is beyond Sumner. Now well, McNabb off on the run for Morton, getting away from Abercrombie. Fulton coming to meet him. Now oh, Payne. Oh, and superb handling again by Billy Thompson. Then Payne wants to go on a kick. He thought Thompson carried the ball over. That's a bad throw out. More problems for St. Martin. And Rooney is tackled by Wilson as he comes in and the outcome is a corner kick to Morton well, Thompson after that excellent piece of handling and the shot from Payne a bad throw out keeping the pressure on the Sunderland defence ball swinging in one by Fulton there's Payne he didn't get over the ball and in fact might well have done much better with that shot Wilson playing a long ball through the middle. Just been a little bit uncertain with Scanlon. Great goalkeeping from Baines. And Morton almost had to pay for that moment of slackness in defence. The ball hanging in the air. It wasn't cleared positively. And Scanlon made a fine turn and shot to bring out that excellent save from Roy Baines. Bobby Houston. Wilkins header collected by Stark. McNabb back to Cochran. Rooney and McNabb through the middle. Thompson is committed. And the keeper did well. And the referee not at all happy about the late challenge from Eddie McNabb. So referee Kenny Hope having a word with Eddie McNabb. Carried on with the challenge after Thompson is keep a little bit late and that's why he's getting a lecture well New Year's Day for Premier League football can sometimes be a bleak occasion the rain still beating down steadily and Morton has a free kick which will be wind assisted a five man wall for Hutchison and that settles it complete joy for Roddy Hutchison and now the points surely are secure the Morton dugout certainly convinced of that well Roddy Hutchison took full advantage of the elements there the touch free kick and the thundering right foot shot wide of the wall and beyond the grasp of Billy Thompson and that was